Davros. My name is Davros. Davros created a new kind of warrior. Davros made the Daleks. But who made Davros? You said you helped me! Shame. You're ashamed. Davros is dying. He has a message for the Doctor. This is a trap. You brought me to Scarlet! This is the planet of the Daleks. <laughs> Nothing to hunt. <laughs> the doctor then, surrounded, outnumbered, outgunned, and freeze. Nanoseconds to live. Four, I'd say, being generous. So my question is this: How did he survive? Oh, come on, Clara. You know him. Consider the doctor. Wow, goodness me, um, where to begin with this one? This was the start of the uh, new season. It was a two-parter, The Magician's Apprentice, and this was the start of the second episode, The Witch's Familiar. I loved that setting there with um, Missy and Clara. I'm not entirely sure where they filmed that, but it, it looked fantastic. Uh, great to see um, all the different Daleks at the start of that scene. Uh, I'm afraid I can't remember too much about the plot in terms of why the Doctor was trapped in that sort of um, castle. Uh, but we saw Tom Baker there, didn't we? And Billy Hartnell. <laughs> uh, oh, but I just hooked every time Michelle Gomez utters a line it's just fantastic performance isn't it just every word just oh really hooks you in uh, fantastic um, yes and I, I seem to remember the doctor ended up becoming Davros I think in this one or he was certainly in Davros's chair I'm not sure which episode it was but uh but that certainly rings a bell. I mean, I thought this was an absolutely cracking start to the to the new season when uh, I first uh, watched it on its original broadcast. And I think, you know, the having the Daleks back and 
Davros um, and Missy just was um, an infallible uh, combination, really. Um, yes, uh, I'm not quite sure how Clara got out of being exterminated. <laughs> it sounded like it was something to do with a, a transporter beam, which is uh, often the way of uh, these uh, sort of narrow escapes, isn't it? It's just a fire up a transporter beam and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> but um, again, a wonderful uh, performance from uh, Peter Capaldi there. It's, it's so facial, isn't it? His, uh, all in his expressions. And I thought that's really what uh, made him such a, such a great doctor. Mm, yeah, I really enjoyed that one. It kind of makes me want to watch the whole thing now, uh, but perhaps it's getting a little bit, a little bit late for that. But it's certainly one I'd like to revisit again very soon. Um, primarily because of uh, the performance from um, Michelle Gomez, who um, I'm afraid I've come to absolutely adore. <laughs> yes, really adore. I wish she'd been, you know in the series a bit longer, but um, maybe she'll come back. Who knows? Who knows? Time will tell. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs>